the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! While you were getting irradiated on the surface, my father just kept lying! Lying to you, to me, to everyone, the whole fucking world, and not even batting an eye! Is that another train? Motherfucker! 
Welcome. Now you've done it. You, your lackeys, your daughters, you have all been treated not like deserters, but like rabbit dogs. A bullet for each of you. I'm shooting you personally through your forehead, you damn cripple. Forget the invisible target. Now you quit. right in front of me. Yeah, wrecked is like, get wrecked. actually has a scope. Nice. Let's heal. What do I got here? More bullets. Hold on! 
If he's gonna blow it, you better hurry. Time for our exodus. Oh my god, Artyom! Thank goodness you're okay! <sighs> now we are not just traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteurs. Okay, well... You need to let us in on... We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green. As if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress green? anyone that much. What? The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I... I'm just waiting for yeah, answers. Yeah, I'm waiting for answers too. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. Now, this, this is something else. Why their own face? We are at a crossroads, so to speak, where everybody can help but wonder, what next? Where do we go from here? Hmm, yes. More or less what I expected from you. But you got the picture. So, is your counter functioning? Have you checked it? Yes, it's all green. Double checked it. Stepan's in the green too. We don't need masks here. So, they were telling the truth. Who was telling the truth? Why won't you answer? Who are those people trying to kill us? Why would they shoot at you, the Order's Commander? Explain something, at least! You owe us that! Well, I might as well drop the bomb now. The war did not end. What do you uh, mean, what? did not end? Let me finish. Most of our cities are destroyed. The rest of the country is probably under enemy occupation. To avoid new nuclear attacks against us, Command chose the only viable course of action. To play dead. What? To ensure radio silence, the shield system was created. A network of radio jammers covering Moscow and suburbs. So that some radio enthusiasts wouldn't bring more bombs down on our heads by whining on air. And it's one of these jammers that got disabled by the hands of those present here. Could you not have shared that before? Say, I'll before be Artyom there. took that radio outside and caught all that radiation? No! I only got briefed half a year ago. Under its street, you talk, you die policy. And then had to tell my people we were securing a weather station. Sir, with all due respect, if we can't go back, maybe we should advance and move on? I have an idea, but... Uh, Artyom, rather than carrying on with this silent <laughs> disapproval of Well, yours, I am a silent protagonist. We should be out of the jamming range by now. So give it your best try. And look for transmissions from the Ark. <sighs> Do you understand now why we are traitors in the eyes of command? We shut down a jamming station, shot up the guards, destroyed a patrol train, and ran away from Moscow. Who even needs a trial when the case is so clear? There's no way back now. Which means we have to continue moving forward. Command, what are you talking about? The Moscow Defense Command. Have you ever heard of the Invisible Watchers? I have, but they're just an urban legend. Not at all. They are command. Are you sure they care for more than just protecting their asses? You mentioned the Ark. What's that all about? Yeah. If Artyom finds their signal, you'll figure everything out. Otherwise, there is nothing to talk about. Do you think finding that Ark of yours is going to fix everything? I do not. But if you have a better idea, then go ahead. Yes, I do. <laughs> we have to find a good place for people from Moscow. Like Artyom always wanted. Giving them all to the enemy? A grand idea. 
I see. We solve our problems before moving on to saving all Moscow. All right. How is it going, Artyom? Found it yet? There's a whole world out here. A world where we could live. So far, we only know one thing for sure. Radiation levels are nominal. The air is breathable. But what about the rain? So what? You can't even breathe in Moscow. So? Does anybody live out here? We don't know. How will they treat us? I don't know that either. What would they do if they found out there are survivors in Moscow? Again, I don't know. Keep looking, Artyom. That's got to be a scene. But we do know we've been lied to. For 20 years, we've been lied to. We know they've been killing people. Collateral damage is inevitable in operations of such scale and secrecy. Yes, people have died. But the bombs killed tens of millions. Yet we are alive. We stayed alive throughout those years. Wait a moment, what was that? One, one, Oh, you know. Listen, everyone! I repeat, proceed to the rally point. Rally point location is code 1811 right. Area 1811 Where was that number supposed to be? Only by standing together, God. we overcome any and all so obstacles. So, it is somewhere around here. The Yamantau Mountain. So, the route from here should go... Uh, like this. This is our goal! So, is this what you had in mind? Yes! This is it! The Ark Project is a whole city underground. Enormous stores, machines, the best experts. It is the Commander General's HQ. All of the country's leaders are there. They have already started the restoration work! We will tell them that Moscow is alive! It wasn't all for nothing! Everything will change. Everything. Do you get it? All right, uh, Wicked Mistress, you have yourself a good night. Catch your rest. And, uh, it's evening for me. It's, it's 7 p.m. So I think the moment calls for. Bring it out to me. Bring what out, Colonel? Sir. That thing that's been sloshing about in your canteen. <laughs> you think I'm deaf or what? Ah, that. Uh, just a moment. I, I thought my ears were deceiving me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a short trip to the Urals, so we should make. So we're going to the Ural Mountains. Yes. Well, let's name this bucket of bolts at the very least, eh? It's about time. Let's go around and be yeah, done. You're always five hours in front. At least. Go to hell. <laughs> Even better. Oh, come Good on. night there. Aurora, the rolling goddess of dawn and a cruiser of, uh, uh, you know what. That's better. <laughs> Not bad. I like it. Die, beautiful name. Sounds okay, but the cruiser of what? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Looks like it's decided. The Aurora. Uh, let's drink to the Aurora. Aurora. <sighs> hey, Artyom, let's take a look at that map. All right, we had a round. That should be enough. You're back. Full steam ahead. Wow, so... Full uh, steam ahead. Uh, wow, well, uh, that's yeah, some distance. Yeah. I wonder how long it will take. I'd say it'll take about a year. How are you, Alyosha? Really, buddy? Andrei Ivanovich, how long have you been working with those jammer people for? About a year, I guess.
After all those years in yeah, the underground, this game is supposedly massive. The air of the surface seemed incredibly fresh. It takes intoxicating. It's like a year in game. But that was so not it's what like there's four the seasons. Euphoria. And it's like open world. We finally got a definite purpose provided by the transmission from the government oh, bunker in the Urals. For 20 years, we thought that neither the government nor military yeah, high it's command a, it's had survived. A, it's a large game, too. Turns out they're still around. Where were they while we were eating each other alive in the metro? We'll have a lot of questions for them once we reach Yamantau. If we reach it. The ruins of our country are under enemy control, according to Miller. And we'll have to fight through to our goal. A small team against the occupation armies? What are the chances that we'll succeed? That we'll get some answers? Froze anything off yet, darling? <laughs> Here, let's warm you up a little bit. Um... Let's actually backtrack to this one because I, I I don't want to miss flavor. We stopped the flavor hunt. stuff. How are you, Alyosha? Oh, Anna. I was expecting an arrow from a Cupid, but I got a bullet from an ugly motherfucker in cold words. <laughs> you sure you're okay? Because I know you. What's done is done. Yes, I didn't stop you from going outside. Yes, I tried to talk you out of it. Yes, I didn't tell you you are not the only ones to survive. But even I didn't have the clearance. And not back then. This is a state secret. Do you understand? I've been granted clearance only after our fight to protect the D6. They said they needed me to teach their recruits because the war was still on. Don't you think I was shocked? What did our people in D6 die for? What did I lose my legs for? But I understood. Because the war was still on. Security was paramount. Our people would have understood. So please, do the same. You would have spilled the beans to everyone in Metro. You a goddamn Prometheus, a messiah. You must lead the people out of the caves. Do you think you would have saved anyone? Remember that jammer? What if Moscow has been found out because of you? What if there are missiles inbound? Anyways, no matter what they think of me, I know deserter and will never become one. I'm ready to bear full responsibility for everything. But if there is even the smallest chance to earn my pardon, I will take it. Which means that we, like a runner that tripped, need to keep running ever faster just to keep balance. <sighs> Don't dare you try Oh, Miss Cannibal's doing again. some good work for Ghost of Tsushima. I hope I am. Anyway, at least now we know where to run. So go back inside and take a look at the map. Our route is pretty obvious now. <laughs> Just so you know, scars attract the ladies. And there's definitely a lot of those up ahead. I don't need a lot, really. It's quality that matters. Aha! I knew it. I would have missed that. Hello there, Artyom. It seems to me, whether it was intended or not, that our colonel now has a goal to strive for because of you. We all remember the way you fought back in D6, so no matter what lies ahead, we're with you. You can count on us. Yeah, yes. As for me, I'm running a little inventory check. Yeah, it is kind of cramped in here. I'm thinking of making something of a workbench. Ooh. So that's all the instruments we get, and everything else would be within arm's reach. With a no workbench, you just lose small components. 
We'll use this place to work on the weapons. Cleaning, boiling, keep out of everybody's way, and keep them from messing with my stuff. Ah, well, we'll have to take turns, of course, but we'll manage. So, if you find any weapons you'd like to keep, I'll store them for you here on the Aurora, and you can come back to exchange them. You'll get them back in their best shape ever, don't you doubt. Oh, boy, have I cleaned and oiled a lot of weapons in my life. Hmm, factory, and homemade, too. Some of those were just amazing, so unusual. So, if you have any weapon-related questions, I'm your man. Oh, okay. And weapons, they are like girls. They need attention. My, do they. You clean your weapon well, you oil it, you check the ammo, because these dirty ammo caps do get rusty sometimes. But if you put your heart into it, the weapon never fails. Geekity. Ah, well, I'll just finish oiling this one, then start on another. Well, hello there, Tony. Good people could have called me up there to drink to Aurora. I still think Bill's above was a better name. <laughs> By the way, did you come to trade places with me? Or did you just want some exercise? I heard that. Monotonous labor calms you. Well, it's no lie. I do feel this calm, you see. Idiot says it's dynamic meditation. <laughs> that philosopher doesn't come here to meditate often. You got anything to say? Nope. <laughs> Andre Ivanovich, how long have you been working with those jammer people for? About a year, I guess. At first, they got me to sign up by singing of my experience helping people. Told me about weather stations and muted migration observers. I was proud to be helping those. Then, about two months ago, they loaded a bunch of people onto my Aurora. The guards took them outside and came back alone. Told me they took the people to a nearby station, but I knew it had came in years ago. A few days later, I was coming back from a run, stopped the train, went and found those people. Soon they understood I saw that ravine. Fed me the usual lies about the spies and whatnot. Did you believe them? Well, it sure seems safer to believe. But then, I just couldn't keep the charade up. Then the security officer told me straight, whoever you speak to dies. The whole station dies with him if need be. So, that's how it went. But when I saw you, and then Artyom, I knew I wasn't alone anymore. You can't just keep these things in. Now I understand why you helped us back then. Thank you. Don't mention it. God willing, it won't end up being done in vain. Yes. Have you ever taken a train beyond city borders? No. Didn't get a chance to go. I used to be a metro train engineer. I worked on the ring line. Ha! What a bore that was! Going round and round all day, round and round, and no real distance either. It used to take less than 30 minutes to make the lap. So I kept dreaming about how good it would be to just leave the metro and work on a real railroad. And travel around Russia, not to run in circles like, like a rat in a maze. Huh? Yeah, metro is really a... My wife wouldn't let me. We had kids, too. When I'd start going on about the railroad, uh, about my dream, 
Shit, stop slipping 